we left Curlew at uh, 4.30 in the morning, it's now 7 o'clock and we're 8 miles off. So we haven't done too bad. Sailing along pretty well. There's two boats coming on behind us at the moment. I'll just show you uh, to the east, so the sun's coming up over Digby. Let's Digby over there. Sun's coming up. The best thing to do is go back to bed. Uh, I've got my sleeping bag over me. And I'll stay here till about nine o'clock, I think, and then uh, review the situation. At the moment, we're doing about uh, three and a half knots, 10 degrees too high, only because uh, we'd be on a dead run otherwise, and the sails would be flogging. And then uh, I'll review the situation about nine o'clock and uh, decide if I'm going to put the spinnaker up or not. Till then, I'm going to stay in bed. Yeah, this morning I woke up and the uh, and the rudder was banging. I hadn't tied it off last night properly and. Uh, as soon as I got out of bed, I thought, oh, bugger it, I might as well start sailing. So I braved the sails, pulled the anchors up and set off for, uh, for, uh, This morning I, uh, woke up and the, uh, rudder was rattling. So, and I, cause I hadn't, uh, tied it off properly last night. I, uh, looked at them and there was a bit of breeze and I thought bugger it I'm off I'm going to set off for Scarfell so I raised the sails and pulled the anchor up and off we went and uh, after clearing Scarfell I clearing Curlew I went back to bed then and uh, it's now seven o'clock and I'm going to stay in bed for uh, till about nine till it warms up it's quite cold outside today and uh, there's nothing to hit at the moment, so I'm uh, trucking along at about three and a half knots in the right direction, just 10 degrees too high. I can't manage to uh, go down my rum line because it's uh, I'll be on a dead run on a, 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 a there isn't enough wind for the uh, to go on a run without the sails flogging. No, I didn't think much of Curlew. It's just got a beach and uh, very hard to walk on. There's nowhere to walk. It's uh, kind of thick scrub behind the uh, beach there, so I'm gonna go to Scarfell. Much better, prettier place. Well, I decided to get out of my slumber and uh, cook myself some breakfast get the boat moving so I'll put the spinnaker up and we're heading past Perdo which is quite a large island over there you can see the clouds on top Prudo I think it is or Perdo Perdo I think and uh, and Scorfell's beyond that somewhere 26 miles a bit more. I haven't looked lately. Uh, I'm cooking myself a bit of bacon and eggs for uh, breakfast. Score fails. Sorry, uh, Curlew's now behind us. By about 10 miles and there's a couple of catamarans, uh, three actually, are on the, 
following us. I don't know where they're going, but they're obviously going to Prudhoe, Ar Purdue Island or on to Scarfell. There's a bit of a race on now, so I had to go and put my spinnaker up. Prudhoe Island. Just passing it on the way to Scarfell. You should be able to see a little uh, boat. Just to give you a bit of the scale of things, there's a large catamaran over on the point there. It gives you an idea of how big the thing is. It's uh, Another sailing boat on me bow there. He's getting away from me a little bit. But uh, we're sailing along pretty well. Cockpit's a bit of a mess. Got the dinghy down here in the cockpit. I've been having me breakfast there, me bacon and eggs. Put that away. I keep having a cup of coffee occasionally. And I'm downstairs uh, editing movies. Yeah, since we left Curlew, we've uh, not been doing very well, really. We've uh, kind of doing about three knots. Four knots at times, and now it's down to three. We've been down as far as two. We're doing actually 2.9 at the moment. And uh, I've... Uh, it, our ETA now is 21.13, so uh, about nine o'clock this evening at uh, the speed we're going at the moment if the wind doesn't die out. Uh, what else is there? The name of the game today was to keep the, I've taken the main down to keep the solar panel uh, charging so I can uh, sit downstairs and edit movies. So, because of what I, well, by the, I hope by the time I get to Early Beach that I haven't got any editing to do on this my little project of uh, filming my trip up to the Whitsundays. I'll just show you about the boat. I've had a bit of a clean up and had a shave. And uh, just show you around. That's the the GPS there, 3.6, 16.4 to go. It says turn right by 25 degrees. But the reason I'm going out off course is because the tires are gonna drag me that far. So I'm gonna, that's what I've worked out. So I've gotta be about 25 degrees off. I've got about one and a half knots of tide with me in a minute and I should be doing all right. Uh, the ETA says 21.53 and the time at the moment is 14.19 and it says there basically we're going in a northwest direction. Sod's law, we're going into the sun again so I'm sorry about that. Now uh, we're pointing here and I'll go round and there's Scarfell and uh, that's 16 miles away. I've taken the main off, it's all tidied up. I should take the jib off as well, but I left it up all this time. I'm gonna leave it there now. They won't, the UV won't do it that much harm from three o'clock on. So, uh, and downstairs I've got my computer out and uh, trying to do a few, edit a few movies. It's just a, just one of those sails you have to do. You're just making, slowly getting there. You just haven't got to worry about how long it's going to take. You just got to uh, occupy your time reading books and sleeping and uh, editing movies. That's what I'm doing. Here's one of these cats over there. I don't know if you can see it there. There's three puck went past me. One was quite a nice cat and two were Kong Tiki rafts as far as I'm concerned. You know, and uh, this one here, I, I reckon he's uh, motoring at about four knots. 
and the other one m motored past me at about four knots also you know so they talk about how fast they can go but when it comes to cruising four knots is about what they rattle on at Yeah, well, we're going pretty well with the spinnaker up at the moment. Averaging about six knots. We're just coming into School Fell now. We've had a big turn of events. I've had the spinnaker up for the last two hours. Oh, I've had it up all day. For the last two hours, I've been doing six point, uh, about 6.3 constantly for the last two hours, which has uh, brought us up from going in at eight o'clock at eight to nine, mid 10 o'clock at night. That was what we were talking about. I think we're gonna be in in about an hour. The point's over there, which is about, I'd say, about four miles off. Surprising, this is a huge island. It's very high. It looks nothing, but it's huge. Very, very high. You can see it for miles. Got another. Sailing up to Scarfell. Great sail, uh, the last bit of the sail has been absolutely tremendous. The last couple of three hours made the whole rest of the day worthwhile. It's gonna be a, an hour too late. I'd like to have been in there for sunset and have a drink. But uh, we're making it, that's the point. And we're heading for the uh, Indus Scarfell. And uh, it's been a great day. We've had a spinnaker run all the way nearly. Bugger all wind. Just the last couple of, couple of hours. We've had uh, probably 10 to 15, 10 knots anyway, about 12 I reckon. And we've been hooting a lot. So I was doing uh, six, 6.3 with a spinnaker most of the time. And uh, fantastic. Great sail. At the moment we've got the tide with us and we're doing about six. Take out George in a minute for the uh, autopilot because uh, we're going to go around the corner. We'll have to do a bit of. Uh
with the tide at the moment, we're doing 6.2. here into uh, Scarfell. It's basically getting on for dark now. Coat the camera's coping very well. I count uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I count seven boats in the bay. <laughs> 